fight! The Adventures of Bayou Billy! Ugh, you asked for it. I haven't played this game very much, but I have played it never for very long, and the reason for that's gonna be apparent real quick. <laughs> it's hard. That's actually true. Bayou Billy is insanely hard. I mean, harder than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES hard, and I've definitely gotten further in that game than I've ever gotten in this game. It's ridiculous. I don't wanna play it. Ooh, trippy. I wanna play it. I guess. I'm supposed to, I'm gonna either way. Whether I want to or not, I'm gonna play it. It's up to you, you to rescue Annabelle. Ooh. Do you have the guts? Oh, the cojones? Oh, the courage. To fight Gordon and his men? I don't know. I've never played it. I mean, I've played it. It's just too hard. All right, gamea, gamea, and practice mode, sound mode. All right, enough goofing around. Gamea. The Adventures of Bio B. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh no! Don't take her away. If you want her back, you will have to come to my estate. You will find that before reaching the estate. There will be many obstacles to overcome. And his teeth are gnars. Let's see if you have what it takes to get here. Her eyes are yellow. Oh God, help! Man, they said God in this game? Use a controller. Good, not zapper yet. Controller. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'm getting beat up already. Parappa the Rappa again? Parappa the Rapper again? I gotta just play that game. Why don't I just play it? Oh my God, I'm not good. Already I can tell. Ah, oh, it's one of those, it's double dragon style. You gotta jump kick, push both buttons. That's how you jump kick. Oh man, I was never really great at these games. Oh, if I keep being cheap like this, I might do all right. Cheap it up, who cares? It's about getting to the zapper. This is a zapper video. It's about the zapping. It's all about the zap. What the crap, it's all about the zap. Dead. Oh man, I remember there's like a gator or something. It's a bayou. Look at him, he's all bayou-ish. Ugh, not good. Ooh, I need that, it's me. Yeah, oh my God, what luck. I don't think I ever get pickups like that. You would think kick would be the best because it's like a long range attack, but it's like blow for blow. I hit him, he hits me. There's a bird from Ninja Gaiden. There's two of them, God, it's brutal. Bird enemies have been a recurring arch rival on Game Center CX ever since Audino had a really tough time getting through Ninja Gaiden because those pesky birds wouldn't stop crapping all over him. To see those bothersome birds ruffle Audino's feathers, check out the Retro Game Master DVD. That's right, Game Center CX has migrated to the US. Ah! Ah! Huh. Call that a knife. This is a knife. I don't even have a knife. I don't even have a knife. I want a rock. I want a rock! Oh, I can't pick it up. Uh, how do I pick up it up? Select, down and punch. I like the little voices they put in here. That's kind of funny and embarrassing. <laughs> it's not that good. Can I not pick it up? Do I not have that ability yet? The ability of picking stuff up? Yeah, all right. That's right. Uh, it's picked it up automatically. Uh, he's so slow with it. It's effective, but it's very slow. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it forever. Uh, don't pick up the rock. Ooh, there's a knife. I want it. Aw. Ooh, gators. I'm a gator hater. Aw, oh, man, do I have to fight him? I have to fight him. Aw. Oh, holy crap. Can't you guys come to shore so I can easily beat you up? Oh, man. I want that. Ah, there was food in the water. I would have eaten that swamp meat. It's not a swamp meat. It's swamp meat. All right, let's try this again. Better, though. Yeah, just get hit by my kicks. Oh, I'm getting hit too. I saw meat. I want it. I don't know. I don't think I can get it. Ugh. They're so hard. You know what? I need some help with these guys. I need some Gatorade. <laughs> Did you see that joke I made? Did you hear it? Ah, I'm not good. All right. I keep seeing like food going to the water. Is it like a trap? Oh God. No, it's not. I needed that. Oh, what? Weapons coming out of the... What is in this gator? What did this gator eat? A stick? A roast? Oh my gosh. They're too hard. I killed one of them. Come on, stop being a, you know what? You're not being a crocodile right now. You're being a little alligator. See you later, alligator, hopefully. 
Well, I don't want to see you again. I just want you to be gone. Uh, shoot! <laughs> it's too hard. Am I already dead? Game over. What if I don't continue? One or two, one, zero. Ooh, that's pretty gruesome. He's dead. In the jungle. Welcome to the jungle! My voice is cracking! All right, let's try this again, but more betterer. The Adventures of Bio Billy. The Adventures of Bio Billy. Oh, I'll use a controller. Not effectively, but I'll use it. Let's try and not get hit. All right, right away. I didn't even hit him and I just got hit. Well, is there a strategy even? It's so hard. I'm hitting him in the groin, he should be going down. You don't just stand there if someone kicks you in the groin, you're going down. Ooh, I need a, ooh man, at least they drop those pretty frequently. Not often enough, but pretty frequently. I need one like every hit, basically. These guys are hard as hell. There's too many of them. This is unfair, three on one, come on. I'll stick to my kicks, thank you. Come on, what kind of... Can I kill those birds at all? Oh, I would attack you if I knew a roast would come out, but it's too risky. You never know when there's gonna be a gator roast. I just can't pick it up, I'm too weak. I'll pick that up. There's so much going on, I can't even draw my sprite correctly. Yeah, I did get hit with a boulder. I guess you die when you get hit with a boulder. Oh, give me your stick. I want it. Oh. Is this supposed to be this crappy looking? They're having trouble drawing the sprites effectively. I suspect, oh, you son of a biggity. I knew you had that too. I got this knife probably good for one throw. Oh, and I used it wrongly. If I stay here and, aw. Uh, it's like a split second. All right, I gotta get that. Yeah, it was worth it. I got my sword. Or I got my sword, I got my knife back. Uh, oh, now I'm totally screwed. Either way you look at it, I'm just done for. We can get them to come over here. Nope, they're too smart. They are alligators, after all. This is so hard, like, I'm doing very poorly. And this is the best I can do. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to throw this match. It's just too hard. Oh yeah, you're not great. Believe it or not, the original Japanese version known as Mad City was actually much easier than the North American version that we got repackaged as Bayou Billy. In a world where we didn't get the original Super Mario Bros. 2 because they were afraid it was too difficult for us, you gotta wonder, what were they thinking? Ooh, roast, I'll want that. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. I don't know, it probably disappears, but you gotta find that sweet spot with all the attacks. You gotta make sure you're not too close or too far. That's the trick. I'm talking like I'm an expert and I'm clearly not. I didn't get both of them because I'd like to save one for later. Gator. I remember I played this game in a video game store when I was like seven or something like that. And I played it for a short time and I was done. I played it just a little bit and I knew this is not for me. It's way too freaking hard. I died all the time. I was like, oh great, new game, Konami. I like games by Konami. I was old enough to know that. I like Castlevania. I was like, oh, that'll be a good game. Oh, it's just too freaking hard. I really, it made me feel like I sucked. It made me feel like I was a crappy player. Crappy person. This is the worst, according to Bayou Billy. I'm the worst according to Bayou Billy. Just not good, Bayou Billy. It's a pretty funny name. Bayou Billy. Man, he does, he is sluggish. He is sluggish in the swamp. Please no more gators. Oh, scuba men. Seems like it might be worse. Oh, bullets. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, oh, you give me something. I just, I just punched a bullet <laughs> with my bare hand. My father once caught a bullet with a bare hand. No bullshit. Oh, I got a gun. I saw a gun. I want it. I saw him drop something. Okay, I used bullets. That was pretty sweet. Yep, well, I'll switch to bullets. I'm not above it. Sh I didn't turn around. Run into my kicks. Hey, I got the, <laughs> I died and got the life vest back or whatever that was. I'll continue. Please let me be somewhere good. Oh my God, this game is unforgiving. It's unforgivable how unforgiving it is. I'm getting better. I didn't even get hurt that time. When do I get to use my zapper? This is whack. Can I ever get to the zapper part, I wonder? I'm not very good. This is, <laughs> this is concerning. This might be the worst zapper video yet. I hope not, but it could be. Someone throw a roast out. Let's have a roast. The roast of Bayou Billy. Bayou Billy, your mama's so fat. Something about that. These ninja Gaiden guys in the bayou. I don't wanna mess around with the birds. There's no point. It's gonna beat me up. Unless they throw a roast. Everything seems to in this game. God, 
Hey, I killed him. That was kind of hilarious. It was kind of worth it. I mean, I got hurt really bad, but I knew one of you guys had it. Should be the one not holding a rock. I just didn't think about it. All right, tough guys. I can't carry the rock, I'm too wimpy. I got a stick. Talk with a small voice, carry a big stick, something like that. Ugh. Come on. Tell me I at least got to a halfway point. Phew, if I did. Bar on the bayou. Something like that. Bar on the bayou. Ah, right when a rose came out, I wanted to eat it. Not die by it. Live by the roast, die by the roast. It's hot as crap in my house right now. I feel like I'm in the bayou. That's why I did that. I didn't turn on the AC because it's freaking so I can get into the game. That's how serious I am about it. I'm doing this on purpose. See me sweating? I feel like I'm sweating. I'm sweating because I don't think I'm going to get anywhere. Ooh, give me the roast. Yeah. Ooh, and I hit him too. I'm doing good. No, I'm not. Yeah, they're getting the better of me right now. How many hits do these alligators have to take? I think a regular alligator would have submitted by now. Maybe game B is easier. Let's try game of. Hopefully it's easier. You can only hope, right? It's too friggin' hard. Bayou Billy. More like hard game. Bayou Billy is a really common game and you'll often see it when you're out game chasing. You'll actually find multiple copies in a store quite frequently. The reason for this? Well, I suspect it was because it was marketed pretty well. I remember seeing this commercial multiple times per Saturday morning cartoon session and it was marketed kind of like Crocodile Dundee, which was very popular at the time. The other reason is there seemed to be a lot of the cartridges about and nobody really wants it because it's too hard. Nobody wants it. Billy, even in game B, I'm taking Annabelle away. I'm uninventive. If you want her back, you're still gonna have to do something. Who cares? All right, what's the difference? It looks identical. Maybe it's easier. So far, it doesn't seem easier. <laughs> what if it's harder? Oh my God, I'd be screwed. We got Master Chief here, red and blue. Kind of pink and blue, but you know. Same color family, really. I took a color theory class. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think it's extremely hard, even much harder. It's much harder. What's the difference? I used to think he was uh, barefoot. <laughs> I guess he's wearing boots. That would be pretty bayou of him to be barefooted though. Not that I know that for a fact. I just suspect to be a barefooted kind of place. Walk through the swamp, let stuff squish between your toes. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Ooh. All right, let's get through the swamp. Man, it'd be nice if I got to level two. It'd be something special. I don't think I've ever gotten there in my short time playing this game in the past and present. It is hard, it's too hard, it's so hard. It's one of those games that's so hard, you can't really find it that enjoyable, I hate to say it. It's not a bad game, it's just too freaking hard. It hits that level of difficulty that is just unbearable. You don't wanna play it. Cause you just, you know, you play a game to feel somewhat powerful, I guess, or at least have a challenge. This isn't even a challenge, this is a slaughter. This is very one-sided. <laughs> I am not doing well. All right, why don't all three of you guys beat me up then? Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. It's funny, it looks like he's got a cool chops when he's holding a rock, but when he doesn't, he just looks like a crappy Vegeta. It's over 9,000. I had to say it, it's mandatory. It'd be dumb if I didn't say it. It's the internet, have to. It's over 9,000. And you're dead for saying that. Welcome to last week, at least. Welcome to last decade at this point. Oh, this is the end of me, I guess. Well, it's been nice talking to you guys. See you next time. You go, you tell me what game I'm playing next time because I don't want to play this anymore. And I'm dead. This is game over. <sighs> What's the difference between game A and game B? I don't know, game on game of? Let's consult Wikipedia. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, game A is the one that uses the gun, game B, you don't use the gun. There's no difference, There's no other difference. All right. One last time and then I'm done. I can't be, I can't. I'm not good, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not good. I'm not trying to suck here. It's embarrassing. I wish I was better. All right, distance. Let's try the distance thing, stay close. Okay, that did something. Was it good? I don't know. Can we get one guy? Nope, they both come at the same time and beat you up. It's unfair. Things are rough in the bayou. Man, I'm gonna die right now. Yep, told you. Dang, this game is way too hard. Is there a difficulty setting for this? I think the only setting is insanely hard mode. At least I got a continue point somehow. It's like every battle is like a checkpoint. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! That's nice. 
Oh yeah, thanks. Probably shouldn't have gotten it so quick, but who knows if it disappears or when. I should probably look into those things. Okay, let's let that sit, see if it, oh f you, don't. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I lined myself up perfectly to get hit by that bird. It's what we call a bird's eye, bullseye. Ooh, I'm beating him pretty good right now. Nope, and he chest bumped me and I didn't follow through. <laughs> Didn't fall through on the chest bump. That's how you get knocked back onto your bum. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, I want that. Oh, and then I ran right into the freaking dragon. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna beat this level. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a big disappointment. You gotta hit him during that one frame that he's actually near you, actually out of the water. Bayou Billy, hardest game ever. Why is it so hard? It's too hard. It's maddening. Ah, oh, got him. Ah, oh, his buddy. Hi, I'm his buddy. You're the worst. Oh, well, I'm the worst, actually. This is so hard to connect. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I saw it. Oh, there was a roast. The roast of Bayou Belly. Look at those crazy trees. Look at those roots. I mean, I guess there are real trees that are like that, but it just reminds me of, like, the Ewok village or something. Yum, yum. <laughs> Look at those logs. They just remind me of Slim Jims. Feel like snapping into a Slim Jim. Oh yeah! Oh, uh, that's it, that's mine. I want it. Oh, come on. I know it's in these waters. I seen it. Must have just disappeared already. Dang it. See, if they kept giving me roast beef, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. You die, you crappy alligatrix. Crocomire. Oh, he's Bulletproof Joe over here. That's what that means. Aha, I got your Bulletproof vest. Sweet. Okay, if I'm careful with these bullets, I might be able to get somewhere. Oh, come on, turn around. Ugh. This is the farthest I've gotten so far, but I'm not really optimistic. Ah! <laughs> Zero! Lives left are reserved. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see if you start me somewhere better. Oh, come on. If I got to level two, stage two, whatever, I would be so impressed with myself. This game is ridiculously hard. It's too, it's too freaking hard. It's unenjoyably hard. <laughs> That's my review of this game, unenjoyably hard. You know, for people that grew up with this game that are probably laughing at me, like this game isn't as hard as people say. You know, I just didn't grow up with it and it's not, it's not an easy game. I don't think anyone could say it's easy. You saying it's easy, you're crazy. You're just out of your mind. It may not be as hard as I'm making it look, but I'm telling you, the difficulty is freaking brutal. Hardest game I've played so far in the Zapper series, because guess what? I haven't even zapped. I want to zap. It's a Zapper game, isn't it? I hope it is. Yeah, you dunced it. This is not a Zapper game. This game is Zapper compatible, but since my criteria is licensed NES games that are Zapper compatible, it fits the bill. E. Bayou Billy. Sorry. Oh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, not again. With your shenanigans. Shenanigrams, I like to call it. Shenanigram. Here's your shenanigram delivery. Old timey voice. That's what happens when you get something from the past. It sounds like this, whimsy. Oh yeah. All right, we're getting back into it now. No, we're not, we're not doing good. There's only one person here, it's me. Why am I saying we? I think I mean the royal we. What? We, we you? I don't know. All right, let's avoid the birds. Hitchcock's birds. They're everywhere. Birds too, the burdening. Dang it, they're so good. They suck. Who out there has played this game and beaten stage one? Not me. Probably never. Chances that this is gonna end up being a zapper video are looking pretty slim. Zapper video, more like crapper video. Oh wait, I already did that joke. Is that even a joke? Is what I got. Sorry. <laughs> All right, time for some BS. Hope you signed up for BS because you're about to get a bunch of it. I don't feel like you can even have strategy on this part. You just gotta smack the gator. Just keep bopping them boppers. This picture was taken from an episode of Game Center CX in which Adino visited Namco headquarters. In this episode, he goes to the lobby where they have a bunch of their classic games, one of which was Wani Wani Panic, also known as Gator Gator Panic, or in the US, Wacky Gators. It's basically whack-a-mole with gators. Done. 
keep clonking them bonkers. All right. Oh, he dropped his stick. That's exactly what I intended. And I thought he had one. I mean, why wouldn't he? He is an alligator. Crocodile. What were they thinking making the game this hard? It's ridiculous. Fun for ages zero and down. This is not fun. Too hard. Um, I got two now. Two sticks. Got some nunchaku going on. Nope, I don't. Give me a beef. I got beef. Give me one. Yeah. Ooh, I'm back in business. And my finger hurts from just pushing this button. This is what I'm doing over here. This is my strategy. Just keep doing this. Done. Eric's pro tip, hit the button. <laughs> That's it, just hit it. All right, this is where I can get a gun if I'm careful. There's a gun, got the gun, shoot the gun. Wrong way. One punch from that bulletproof idiot jerk. <sighs> this is done, I'm just done. Wait a minute. I got practice mode, hold on. Let's try practice mode. Well, that'll help. Street fighting game. Well, let's try that. Wow, this looks oddly familiar. Street fighting in the bayou. <laughs> just like you'd expect. There must be a point to this. So just fight one of each kind of guy. I'm sure I can't do it. I'm kicking some butt now that it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Oh, you only get one shot. Do not miss this chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better. Eminem. Uh, not even you can save me now. All right. Practice mode again, Let's see what else they got. Action dri driving game. Ooh, sweet, I wanna drive it. Forward is acceleration, that's weird. Huh, I'm sure when you do good in this game, you get to play this. <laughs> I'll never know, and not knowing is half the battle. Yep, Spy Hunter. In Spy Hunter, helicopters would blow you up either by dropping bombs on you or by you running into the holes that the bombs created. The developers originally wanted the players to be able to fly the helicopters themselves, but they weren't able to implement it because of a lack of memory. You'd think they would have written an idea like that down before they forgot. Oh shoot, I already used that idea. Ah, uh, I already used that joke. Video Gamers 1983 Part 2, sorry. Dang that, and I'm done? You only get one shot, I guess. That was enough of that for me, I suppose. Well, let's see if I can shoot a helicopter down or something. Watch out the puddle. What are these sticks? Whoa, I'm slipping. Ah, uh, grenade. Oh, I got one. Bombed a freaking plane with a grenade. I'm almost to a checkpoint, but then I blew up on a rock. Done. Aw, uh, I don't want to play anymore at all. All right, practice mode. What else you got? Shoot them up. Can I warp to zappers? Let's try B, because I suspect that it's with the controller, yep. And I don't want to play that. Let's just die. I'm good at that. Almost dead. Come on, I can do it. I know I can. I've seen it. I've seen my lack of skill in action. This is going to happen. Done. Boom. Dead. Perfect. Oh, that's pretty cool. No! Man, he's always just stuck in this one. He's in that quicksand every time. So if I know what I think I know, now I can play zapper mode. I don't know. I'm gonna pick it and I'm gonna stick it. All right. Oh man, I dropped the controller. Get him. Oh yeah, I can zap. This is what it's all about. It's about zapping. Must be so satisfying to actually get to this part on your own and not have to cheat like I just did, but there's no way in hell I'll ever get there on my own, guys. Sorry. Like I said, I'd like to come back one day and beat all of these games in a video, but guess what's not happening right now? That. There's no time. I know it sounds cliche because I say that every time, but it's true. There's actually no time. This is pretty cool. It's like an Operation Wolf style, but a lot bigger perspective. Oh no. Oh, I shot the TNT. Man, I am great. This is my game. Bayou Billy's hard, but this is actually pretty easy and pretty fun right here. Is it fun because it's easy? Maybe. I won't lie. Just being honest. Oh, I got a nuke. I don't know what that is. I'm doing great. You're dead before you hit the ground, sir. This is a boss. Ah, oh, I beat it. You're pretty good with guns. Don't be afraid of Gordon. As a reward, you will receive extra bullets. Sweet. I get to keep going. Oh my god, really? <laughs> is that really all? Oh, this is gonna be the worst video ever. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'll play it again. Is it gonna give me extra bullets? No, it's the same, 50 bullets. Bazooka Joe, guy that falls out of the tree and gets shot immediately. 
guides and nunchucks? I don't know. This is gonna be a short video, I reckon. I don't know why I'm gonna... Ah! Yeah, I like how the frame jumped up when I shot it. It's like, that TNT's there right now. What did I get? Huh. Okay, you only have so many bullets, I guess. Chill out. What's that be, a bomb? I'm trying to use the controller right now. It's not letting me do anything. Did I get another bomb? Oh, it just kills those guys, I guess. I like the variety they were going for with this game. I mean, you got like a beat em up style, and then you got a driving game, and then you got a zapper game. It's great, all in one. It's so sweet, but it's too freaking hard. When I'm saying what part's too hard, the beat em up part. That's the only part that's too hard, and it is. It's just way too freaking hard. This is manageable. The driving one I'm sure I could get better at, but what is this? It's too hard. Beat em up. You'll receive extra bullets, but you won't because you have to keep playing the same freaking thing over and over again. <sighs> one last time, I guess, for good measure. Wonder if there's any codes for this that I could just get a little further and play the shooting games or something. How many shooting games are there in this? Must be some shooting sections. I don't know how many. What happens when I run out of bullets? Well, we'll find out right about now. Man, my finger hurts. Oh, infinite bullets. There's too many bullets. Rapid fire. Okay, this is a bit off topic, but speaking of rapid fire, there was an episode of Game Center CX in which Takahashi Meijin, aka Master Higgins of Adventure Island, showed up to help out Arino. The challenge was Star Force, and the goal was to beat the mid-level boss Larius by shooting him eight times before he formed, and that's eight times in a second to beat him, and you get a 50,000 point bonus for doing that. Well, Arino had a really tough time, so Master Higgins shows up, and he can do it no problem. He got his honorific sensei from the 80s when he was able to shoot it 16 times in a second. Hit the button 16 times. I can't, I can't do it. I'm gonna wear out my zapper, is that possible? <laughs> oh, you're dead because you're out of bullets. <laughs> they gave me plenty of bullets. Oh my gosh, all right, zapper done. Let's try game B, why not? How hard is it if you don't own a zapper? Oh man, it's rapid fire, come on. That's easy. I mean, you gotta move, maneuver your thing over, but it's auto fire, freaking machine gun style. I really wish, guys, that I had gotten good enough to actually play this for you, but I don't think I have time to get that kind of skill up. I would have to play this game for months to actually get to probably stage two. It's that kind of, it's that kind of Nintendo difficulty that we've all come to know and tolerate. Ah, we love it. We're masochists. What can I say? Am I right, guys? Ah. You like speak for yourself, weirdo. And run out of bullets. It's kind of hard not to in this game. And I guess that's the downside of having rapid fire. I need those bullets. I'm good now. This will be cake. Just rapid fire them. Who cares? I'm the best. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the worst ever. Oh, where's hands down worst zapper video so far? Sorry guys. Wish I could have zapped more. Crapper video indeed. Time out. Let's see if there's any codes for this game. I never do this. I never do this, but I'm gonna see if there's any codes. That looks cool. Wish I could get there. All right guys, so I sunk to the lowest level possible. Don't like to ever do this except for extreme circumstances, but I looked up online to see what I could find. And as far as hints go, cheats and stuff, there is not much. All I found out is that those practice modes at the beginning, if you complete them, you get bonuses when you start, such as extra bullets, extra lives, and stuff like that. Try it. It's easiest with the gun, I think. Let's try it. It's easy enough. All I gotta do is just do it. Done. Is that really an effective attack, jumping out of a tree? <laughs> Surprise, I broke my ankle. <laughs> That's how you break your ankle. I'll tell you a story about breaking my ankle. One day I was taking a walk with my dad and we walked by this little dump area where people were dumping their trash. And there was a little sign that said, no dumping. And ironically, I actually saw a guy that had been walking his dog over there. Dog was taking a dump right by the no dumping sign. <laughs> I don't know, I, I thought it was hilarious. It was, I, I was pretty impressed with myself that I could pick up on the irony when I was like nine or whatever. But anyway, I was walking with my dad and we went over to this tree 
over in a field that I used to play by. I was like, check it out, Dad, I could do all these pull-ups on this freaking tree. So I climbed, you know, 10 feet into the tree, and, oh, it's gonna hit me. I climbed about 10 feet up there, and I was standing on a branch, and I was grabbing a branch above me, and I was doing pull-ups on that branch. I like, Dad, watch me. He's like, be careful. I was like, I got it. I've done this all the time. And, of course, what happens? Freaking branch I'm holding on to breaks, and then the one below me breaks, and then I fall 10 feet onto a slanted hill. It had to have been at least a 45 degree angle. And I landed on my ankle and immediately broke it. And then I fell and bounced off the ground off the top of my head. It's like ankle slammed my head into the ground. So there's like dirt and crap stuck in my face. And my dad's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like grabbing my face. It's like, ah, my ankle. He's like, your ankle? I broke my ankle. That's my story. I'm feeling like I'm gonna have to pad this up a little bit. So there's a story about me breaking my ankle. Sorry. Archie Comics actually published a comic book based on the adventures of Bayou Billy. It didn't last very long, but it did feature some characters from the video game. In the comic book storyline, Billy was a widower after his wife had been murdered. Probably because her husband's game was too hard! Okay, so you get extra bullets. Alright, that actually makes sense. So now I know I have extra bullets. So, let's try the driving game, I guess. Might as well try all of them. Good thing you can't run into your own grenade. I'm gonna be as maxed out as I can be when I do this. So practice mode ain't just for practice is what I read. I mean, it is for practice, but it's also for mode. I don't know what that means. Okay, is that the finish line or is that a checkpoint? I can see a flag there. I feel a little bit more excited knowing that there might be hope if I beat the practice mode on this. Ugh. I'm so nervous to fail now. I didn't care before. Oh God! Ugh. You only get one shot. Do not miss this chance to blow. If I get bullets from the start, man, there might be a chance. I like the music. Let's try and find the positives. Re-res. Check them out. <laughs> Plug. Ah, Dang it. You should check out Re-Res's show about the positives in games. He plays real crappy games and he finds the positives in them. Real short, like short but sweet videos where he talks about the crappest of the crap and points out the good things. And it's really funny and it's actually very clever and it's really entertaining and his video quality is really good, intimidating, way better than mine. I know that's right. Oh, why am I promoting him? <laughs> thanks Shane, or you're welcome, but really thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm getting in the swing of it. I don't have to go the full distance, I just have to go that flag. Probably. Pro probably. Probably. This is just practice. Or is it? This might be the only way to progress anywhere in the game. Beat all these. I got a MacGyver style throw friggin' grenade at that thing. Man, I'm great. Or am I? Probably not. Almost there. I hit that guy with the grenade, that was crazy. Almost there. What hit me? I don't even know what hit me. I just died. Oh, I was there. All right, I can do this. I feel like I can do this. Bayou Billy. You know, I didn't hear a lot of kids talking about Bayou Billy back in the day. On the playground, there were certain games you talked about. Bayou Billy did not come up. I probably talked. <laughs> probably talked about it right after I played it at that store and was like, "Don't play that game. It's too hard." Kids were like, "Duh, it's too freaking hard." It's Bayou Billy. End of conversation. I like this. It's just too hard. <laughs> Or am I that crap? I'm pretty crap, to be fair. When too hard and pretty crap come together, it's not a pleasure to watch, I'm sure. Sorry. Good thing you can't run into your own grenade. I must have hit a rock last time. <sighs> I'm saving street fighting game for last because this is probably going to be too hard. Surprise, surprise. I will know once I beat all three of these and play the game and can't do it, that I just can't do it. That's how I'll know. <laughs> or just by the fact that I can't get through the practice levels. I feel like I'm playing this wrong. Like I'm skidding the whole time, like in pole position. That's how you know you're not doing a good turn. Scree, 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 scree. Whew, that was close. Yep, I ran right into that dung, that pile of dung. <laughs> Aw, manure. Why did it have to be manure? Something that Biff would say. Back to the future. Cow pucky. Whatever he said. Cow sh**. Cow poo poop. Dunstead. All right, eventually. One sweet day. Mariah Carey. Been playing Zelda Link Between Worlds still. And every time I see those little pegs on the side of the road, I just want to take out my little chain thingy and glomp onto them. That's what they're called. That's what it is. 
Ooh, that little glitch. Oof. That's what it was. I almost ran into that cow dung again. Ooh, that was close. Oof. And that's like your worst enemy, that cow dung. It comes up quicker than anything. Mole's there. Three quarters of the way. Mole's there. I can... Yeah! Did it! Oh, you're an ace behind the wheel. As a reward, you will receive an extra life. Thank God. Now go and rescue Annabelle. Yeah, I need to. I need an extra life. I need multiple extra lives. I wonder if I can do that multiple times. I don't wanna. Street fighting game. This is the worst part of the whole game, my God. He got my roast. Are you kidding me? Oh, I need it back. God, you jerk. Taking your roast back, that's unheard of. How far do I have to get? Could use a roast. Ugh. I only have one left to do. Street fighting game, I don't know if I can do it. It's the hardest part of the game. Thank gosh. You heard me, thank gosh. It's a PC way. Huh. PC that. Got dually knives. Dual wield knives. Now I'm gonna be dead right now. It's a good soundtrack. It has a redeeming value. One thing, now I'm dead. <laughs> Dang it. All right, go for the pink guy, mental note. Good job, game over. Knives everywhere, man. How many knives? Oh, I did it! Yeah! Okay, I can do this. Your physical skills are great. You can outdo Gordon at his men and his men with your punches and kicks. As a reward, you beat the game. Oh, you'll receive a meatball, what? Come on, <laughs> what's up with this game? Oh, just what I wanted, a meatball. All right, hopefully I can do better now. The Adventures of Bio Billy. Adventures of Bio Billy. I was hoping for the adventures. I don't see any bullets or meat or nothing. Doesn't seem to be anything to help me right now. All right, I'll just trust, I guess. Ugh, I'm already doing awful. Give me a, give me a beef, I want a beef. One of these guys is gonna give me beef, I don't remember who. Need it. You gotta be merciless, because these guys aren't gonna go easy on you. You gotta be like non-stop kicking and punching these guys. It's all in the mind. You gotta kick, punch them in the mind. Doesn't make sense. Look at these birds. This game is for the birds. Who barely escaped the jaws of danger. Jaws of death. Just threw it to each other. <laughs> Minxie in the middle. Ah, will our hero make it? Probably not. Find out now. Oh, that's sweet. I got more life. Thanks to my practice mode. That's how you do this game. That's how you do it. There's only one way to do this game and it's practice mode. Holy crap. So I'm gonna get some bullets, but I have to get the gun first, I reckon. Oh, that was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have gotten rid of my better weapon or a craptastic knife that I'm about to throw over the heads of some gators, no doubt. Oh, you wanna hit me? Ah! All right, Leatherhead, let's see what you got. I guarantee. Another Ninja Turtles reference. Why am I about? Apparently Ninja Turtles references in Parappa the Rapper. See, it says I have no bullets, but I'm supposed to have 100 bullets. According to Cheats R Us or whatever I looked at, playing the shooting game and beating it, you get 100 extra bullets. But I don't have no bullets. I guess you gotta get the gun first. I don't know what else it could be. Come on, where is it? I'm probably doing figure eights around the thing. It's hard to get him to turn around. The controls are not particularly good in this game, I gotta say. I remember Leatherhead being hard in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, but this is ridiculous, am I right? Of course I am. Oh, I got the shoot knife. It's not good, it's the shoot knife. All right, these guys have bullets. Give me the bullets. <laughs> Bet when I got to the end of those four bullets, I was gonna have bullets. Maybe not. How do I have extra bullets then? I don't. I guess you gotta pick one or the other. You don't get all the cool stuff. Booyah! <laughs> it's anticlimactic, but I shot him. There's my extra bullets. Oh my gosh, this is like the farthest I've ever gotten. Where's my NES advantage when I need it? Hitting this button is tedious as a turd, but there's no way to logically do it. Just hit the button. Am I getting hit or am I just hitting him? I don't want to get hit, I just want to hit him. It's a pretty sound strategy if you think about it. It's pretty smart. Give me that roast. I know you got a roast inside you. You're an alligator, why wouldn't you? Oh my God, three of these freaking things. They're too quick, you can't even hit them. So I asked you guys which video you wanted to see next and this was the overwhelming winner. And several people said that they wanted to check it out because in their country, this game never came out. So let me be the first to tell you, 
you're not really missing out. <laughs> it's not bad, but it is way too hard to be enjoyable. I know I've said that, but it's just the truth. It's like it could be good, but is it? I don't know. If they had toned the difficulty down a little bit, it would have been a lot better. I'm no slouch either. I've beaten Ninja Gaiden like three times and to name some other hard games. Super Meat Boy, I've beaten it. Not 100%, but I've beaten it. Almost 100%, I think. But name some hard games. I've probably beaten most of them. Some of them. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden, Castlevania 1. Those are games that I'm pretty proud of beating. They're hard as crap. Some other difficult games I've beaten include Mega Man 1, Zelda 2, Kid Icarus, Metroid. I've almost beaten Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've beaten the original Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2 nine times in a row. I'm pretty great. No way would I ever be able to do this. There's too many freaking crocodiles. I'm so scared about what comes next. I beat a level! I beat a stage, oh my god. Billy, don't worry, you're scantily clad, lovely. Annabelle is safe with me. I don't trust him somehow. Cause he laughed! What a jerk. <gasps> Stay, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did it on my own. I'm the best! Totally different level. And they're like hidden, it's harder in this one. Is this where my 100 extra bullets come in handy? Kinda sucks if that's the case. Oh, he's sneaky little sniper. Ooh, I got bullet vest. About to run out or what? This is awesome! I like this, this is manageable difficulty right now. I mean, I'm really good at it. I guess I've been playing so many Zapper games. I say that as I start sucking. This is disproportionately difficult compared to the stuff I was doing before. Like, it's hard, but it's not nearly as freaking hard as it beat em up style of this game. There's my extra bullets, I guess. Very rhythmic. It's like a rhythm shooting game. Oh, if you get behind, you're in trouble. Oh, is there a boss? Sounds like boss. Oh, shoot. Oh, I died. Ah, oh, probably because I didn't have health. <laughs> My arm is tired. Oh, cool, I get to start from the helicopter, thank God. This game has some fair parts. Ah, oh, it's too hard. <laughs> I say it's fair and then I die. And then it's not fair anymore. Okay, rest arm, rest. The guys on the ground are your real worry. Shooting the helicopter is a matter of endurance, but the guys on the ground are the only ones that appear to be able to shoot you. Could be wrong about that. Oh, I did it. I'm the best! <laughs> I'm the Bayou Billy Master! I don't know anybody that's gotten a stage two, I'm the best. Maybe. You're pretty good with guns, but don't be too confident, aka cocky. You'll be finished before dinner, before you know it. Probably, this game's too hard. Ha 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 ha, jerk. Hate him. All right, controller. Oh man, stage three, holy crap. Oh, I want to do a driving stage now. I think I can do this game. No, I probably can't. I'm totally in a different mode right now, mentally. Come on, this chubby guy. That's right, coming to my bayou. That's where I thrive, sucker. All right. Oh, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Yeah, I'm gone. No, I'm not. Dang it. Yeah, it was inevitable. Got it too early, shouldn't have done that. I'll probably regret that. Foreshadowing. <laughs> I already know how this is gonna turn out. It's because it's too hard. I'll tell you what, this game can be fair, but this is the hardest shizzle. Beat em up is impossible. Ah, I knew it. Oh, come on. All right, let me continue here at least. Stage three, this game has some kind of sense of fairness, but it's not much. Oh, I don't, like, I don't get my extra health or anything. That was just a one-time thing. It helped me get here, but I'm screwed now. All those roasts in the water. Every roast, all right. Dang. All right. <laughs> Doing great. Doing not good. That's how it goes every time. Could use some health or something. Thank goodness for that. Need more health already. <laughs> Doesn't take long. This game is too hard. Yeah. Ugh. Roast, come on, roast. No, the probably guy probably had roast hanging out in his gi, like they do. An aggressive approach is much better. Defense will get you nowhere in this game. Oh, boss. Oh, Zangief. You just gave me the throw. Oh, no. 
He's like, whatchamacallit, actually. Uh, Andre Jr. Eh, not quite right. His name is actually Andore from the Japanese pronunciation of the word Andre, as in Andre the Giant, who the character was obviously modeled after. Apparently there's a whole Andore family, and you can only tell them apart because of the colors of their outfits. Since Final Fight, Andore has shown up in several Street Fighter games, but under the name Hugo. Hugo Andore. Alright, I got him. He's got me. He's got me! <laughs> I'm so close! Oh shoot! Dang, not gun games. Ugh, one more time, this game is too hard. If I could beat at least one boss in this, I'd feel accomplished. Sometimes it's like a figment of my imagination, apparently, when a roast falls in the swamp. Oh, you were just dreaming stuff. What happens to my roast sometimes? I swear it goes in the water and then this is that. Oh, there was my roast. Oh, can you believe that? I can't, because I died. Oh, come on. I gotta fight these guys again or did I get further? See if that roast is just a figment of my imagination. Yep, as usual it is. Basically anything that could ever happen that would be good to you in this game just didn't happen. It was just in your imagination. See, like that roast? I'll go get it. Does it exist? No. I need that to be real. <sighs> I have to fight these guys again. It's already hard enough. Just let me start at the gators. How many heads these guys? I need it to be real, guys. They gotta tease me all the time. I don't know how much more I could do this. Really wish I had carried my bonus over. Like every game over, it should be like, oh, remember how you did all those training stages? That wasn't for naught. But it feels like it is now, because they're all gone. Can I ever get the frickin' roast that supposedly appears? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sick of hitting my knee. Knee slapping good time, Bayou Billy. It's not really. Sorry if anyone's offended, this is the best Bayou I can do. I don't know anything about it except for the characterizations I've seen on TV. <laughs> I'm that ignorant. Bayou Billy was featured in an episode of Captain N the Game Master called How's Bayou? He was basically Crocodile Dundee, and Bayou Billy was said to be the one game that not even Captain N could beat. Heck, I'd probably rather watch Captain N than play Bayou Billy, if that's fine by you. <laughs> I like the little poppy sounds in the music. This is the kind of game that you'll love to hate. Teasing me with your friggin' fake swamp roast. I want it to be real. There it is! This is the first time in like five that it's actually been real. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Wow, you had one too, it's not fair. Only I should have one. It is two against one. It's like each guy has as much health as you do. It's like freaking Ninja Gaiden on Xbox. It's that insane, which I haven't beat actually. I beat Ninja Gaiden on NES. All right, come on, let's do this. I got him. Sh Dang it. It's like right before the boss, isn't it? Oh, right before I die. Oh, how did I even get there before? It's so hard. That was a close one. All right, this is the last chance no matter what because I can't keep playing this. It's doing things to my mind I don't like. I feel inadequate, super inadequate, and not good. All those things at once. It's a little overwhelming. It's a shock to the senses, that's for sure. I used to think I was pretty good. It's kind of like in Star Wars where Star Wars, uh, Two Shadow of the Empire. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back, where Obi Wan Kenobi or Yoda or somebody is like, "You go in here, it'll show you who you really are." Or maybe I'm thinking of Never Ending Story. <laughs> I don't really even know. All I know is that all your inadequacies come to light if you're playing Bayou Billy. You think you're good? Play Bayou Billy. My goodness, what an awakening! What a rude awakening! I'd like that roast to be real. It is! And then I lost just as much health getting over here. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 where, or no, 3 where you're like in the Russian wilderness and there's like a swamp and you fight an alligator or you can fight alligators. You're kind of dumb to do that, but every time I did that I thought of Bayou Billy fighting the friggin' crocodiles. I didn't ever play this game much because it's just not that fun. I'd get a certain distance and never this far. This is the farthest I've ever gotten. And I'd be like, eh, this is not that fun. <laughs> and I'd quit because man, it is not. Someone cough up a turkey, I need one. Now it's turkeys. 
Yeah! On command, you guys are well trained. Thank goodness. All right, I'm almost to the boss. Oh, oh man, so close. Knee slapping good time. I got this, going into this battle. Boss. All right, <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. All right, Zangief, last chance. Give up, please. <laughs> it's too hard! I can't play it anymore because I'm game overed. Oh my gosh, that was just the brutalest game I've ever friggin' played. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I did my best, but it wasn't enough. I'm sorry. Someday, maybe. It's too hard. So Bayou Billy, it is a zapper game, but many of you probably didn't know that just because you never got past stage one. If you're like me, this tonight, I will say achievement unlocked. Get to the first boss of Bayou Billy. That's a big deal for me because I have played this game on and off for years. Just, I get, I play it for a little bit and I'm like, oh, this is probably good. No, it's too freaking hard. I, I don't want to say it's a bad game. I'm really reluctant to say that, but it is too hard to be a good game. So if it was a little bit easier, I would say good game, but the beat em up part is brutal. It's harder than Double Dragon and Double Dragon is a pretty hard beat em up game. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about and I'm sure that you do. It is too freaking hard. So I will say for a zapper game, Bayou Billy thumbs up. For anything else, it's really hard. It's too hard to play. I don't wanna play it. Big biz biz biz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Done, son. <laughs>